Welcome to part 2 of our tutorial. This part of the tutorial will show you how to go about setting up your own dialogue. By using a dialogue, users can interact with your entities and make changes as they go. Dialogues are limited only by your imagination and your business processes. They can be as sophisticated as you like or you can have a nice simple one like we have, but I can show you how to set them up and that is done as ever through the settings area. So we'll navigate there. And so we navigate to settings and we look for the processes area and you'll see all of your processes here. So as you can see, we've got workflows, we've got business process flows and we have dialogues all contained within the processes area. Here is our lead analysis here. That's the dialogue that we've just run, but I'm going to show you how to create a new process. So you click new. The first thing we have to do is give the process a name. So I'm going to create a customer satisfaction survey. Now, this is going to be a simple survey just to show you the theory behind creating dialogues. Now, what category? Well, this is a dialogue that I want to make and I want to make this run against an account. So I'll hit OK. I want this to be available to accounts, organisations that we do business with. OK. As you'll see, they're very similar in the way you set them up to workflows with a few small differences. Input arguments and variables are used for child dialogues. So you can have dialogues which branch off in different ways. You can have dialogues which start child workflows and input arguments and variables are used for them. I don't want this to be a child dialogue. I just want to create a brand new one from scratch so I can go straight to steps. So the first thing you do is select this row and click add step. And what I want to do is add a page. Pages can be thought of as each screen on the pop-up. So on the dialogue that we looked at yesterday, there were four or five screens. Each one of those is a page. So the first thing we do is create a page. Now I'm going to start it off by making a welcome page. So I'm going to give it a name of welcome. And I want to add a prompt and response. Now a prompt and response is the text that is seen and the questions that are asked within your dialogue. So I'm going to give it a description here. That this is the welcome page. And then I go to set the properties of my prompt and response. So the text, what has the user to say, what has the customer to do, these are the instructions for the user. So I'm going to put in here, survey to be carried out against account records. And then we can add tip text. Now you may also notice you can insert hyperlinks here if your dialogue requires it. So perhaps maybe part of a call script a user has to read out terms and conditions. You could have a hyperlink to your terms and conditions there. Rather than type them all out in the prompt text or in the tip text, you can insert a link. So I'm just going to write tip text goes here so it can be used. And on this page, I am not looking for any kind of response. All that this page is going to be used for is to announce to the user what they're about to run. Okay, so that's our first page. I then want to add another page. So I'm going to add a page after that. And in this case, I'm going to call this the feedback survey. And that's just the name for the page. And this time I want to add another prompt and response. So let's set the properties of our prompt and response. Now in this case, I'm going to call it feedback requested. And in this case, I want the prompt text to say, how happy have you been with the services provided by us? On this question, I do want to garner a response. So I can select a response type. Do I want a single line of text where the user can enter the information? Do I want an option set of radio buttons, pick lists? Do I want multiple lines? Do I want them to be able to pick a date and time? Do I want a date only or do I want a lookup? Well, in this case, I want to choose from a pick list. So I'm going to click there. And then by scrolling down, I can select which options I want to appear in my pick list. So I'm going to add a response value here of extremely satisfied. Now, please do bear in mind the two fields that you see here, value and label. 
These can be referenced later, but do keep an eye on what values you have put in here. And the reason I'm asking you to do that will become clear when we get to a later stage. But in this case, I want to add one of extremely satisfied. I'm going to add another one of fairly satisfied. Another value of quite satisfied. Another one of not satisfied and finally one of very unsatisfied okay and I then save and close okay so as it's set up at the moment we have the first page of our dialogue is called the welcome page and what it does is it advises the user it is a survey to be carried out against account records after that page, it will then display a page which says how happy have you been with the services provided by us and a pick list will be available. What I want to do now is then add another page dependent on what option has been picked here. So I go to add step and I do a check condition. And we check here if condition click to configure. Well, we want to look at the response made and the feedback requested. So what we do is we check here, we can look up to the account, we can check related entities, or we can look at local values. And in this case, I want a page to be displayed when feedback requested equals, and we have two options here. I can either set it to the response value or the response label. Now in the example I set up, one of the options was extremely satisfied. The value for that is zero, the label is one. Now, do bear this in mind when you're setting up your dialogues. At the moment, it doesn't matter which we pick. We can choose feedback requested value equals zero, or we could choose the label equals extremely satisfied. The danger in doing it this way, using the label, is that if you have to change your option set values later, you have to change your labels, you would have to remember to go in and also change your conditions. If we leave it as the value, we can change the value or change the label against the value without having to go in. So I'm going to leave it as zero. Save and close. And then add another page at this point. And this page that I want to display is a prompt and response and I want to set that up okay so what I've decided is that if an account was to give us feedback of extremely satisfied, perhaps we should approach them and ask them if they would be happy for us to use their experiences with us as a case study. So I want a response type there of radio buttons, because it's going to be a yes or a no value. And that will then display this page when a user has picked extremely satisfied. I'm going to add another check condition. So what I'll now do is then add another conditional branch so that I can choose to display a completely different page if, for example, the user has picked very unsatisfied. So I'll add a conditional branch there. Otherwise, if the condition of feedback requested response value equals 4 in this case. So they're extremely unsatisfied. What I would like the dialog to do is add a note to the account to say that the customer has experienced difficulties. So what we do here is we'll add a page and on that page I want a prompt and response.
Okay, now, if one of our customers is extremely unsatisfied with us, we want to be able to record the reasons for it. You wouldn't do that in a single line of text. If they're extremely unsatisfied, they may have quite a lot to say, so I'm going to pick multiple lines of text. And as you can see, we can't define any values for that because we want to give the customer as much leeway as possible. It's free text. So we'll save and close that. Now, what I'm going to do after this as well as logging the properties of what have been entered here, we can then also use that information and update that onto the account record. So we do that by selecting the page, and I'm going to update the record. Now, this list here does prompt me to discuss actions with you. All of these options here are what are called actions. Now, actions can be defined for CRM. They are configurable. However, you would need programmer assistance or a technical coder to do this for you. So if you want, for example, to be able to delegate a record to another team, you could do that through the assign option here, assign record. But if you wanted a button here that said delegate to another party or something like that, they can be set up for you. If you wanted something like that done, give us a shout. We'll be happy to see if we can assist in doing that for you. For my example, I want to update the record, so I'm going to pick that. It'll ask which record do you want to update? Well, I want to update the relevant account. Set properties is where I choose what to update. I'm going to save that in the description field. So I click to the description field. And I want to set that to, so we have dynamic values here. I'm going to set that to, so we look for our entity. Now it's not an entity, it's not any of the related entities. It is the values provided in the extremely unsatisfied page. I'm going to add the response text. And what that will do is it will update the account record with all of the information which has been entered there. So I'm going to save and close that. And now I'm going to activate the process. Now, for the purposes of demonstration, I haven't added another page for fairly satisfied, quite satisfied, or not satisfied, but I will show you what works with extremely satisfied and how it works with very unsatisfied. Just as we do with workflows and other processes, these cannot be run until they're activated. So do remember to activate your process before users can use it. Okay, and that's us activated our process. So I'll go and show you that in action. So we'll navigate to an account record. I'm going to run our survey against A Magna Lorem Consulting. So we'll open that up. I navigate to the more commands and start dialogue. And as we see here, we have a customer satisfaction survey here. So I'll click that. It opens up our dialogue. So here's our welcome page, a survey to be carried out against account records. Click next. How happy have you been with the services provided by us? Now I'll show you extremely satisfied first. So we click on that, click next. It'll say, would you be happy to provide a case study for our use? Yes or no, because that's what we'd set up. I don't want to do that. I want to also show you extremely unsatisfied. So I'm going to click previous. I'll go to very unsatisfied, hit next. And it'll say, please tell us where we have gone wrong. Let's just say billing issue of Card very unhappy. Hit next. I can then finish my dialogue and when I refresh this account, we will see that the information which was entered into our dialogue will now be displayed in the description form. And here it is. And that is dialogues in action. As ever, if you've got any queries or you'd be interested in a free trial, just give us a thumbs up, get in contact, and we'll be happy to provide you with all the information you require. Thanks for watching.